Hi, we're growing Karen and we are headed on a shopping adventure from Lake Sumter Landing mm -hmm. over to Southern Trace. To where the uh, Walmart Supercenter is. Mm -hmm. But there's and all lot, kinds of other things. There's a lot more than just the Walmart over there. Mm -hmm. It's like all kinds of shopping opportunities in that area. Well, it's, it's a major shopping area. Uh, the, the only other one that may be bigger is when you go up north into Spanish Springs. There's a lot, there's a lot of stuff up over there. Lady Lake. Yeah. But that's a long drive in the golf cart if you are living, for example, south of 44. But I, I take the drive from Hammock and Fenny to this Walmart and Definitely. it only takes me about uh, five or ten minutes more than going to the neighborhood market. It's, it's, it's a different location, but it's almost the same distance. Mm -hmm. So, turn right onto the shared path and then right onto the shared path. Mm -hmm. There are some sometimes reasons that I'll right want to go to the Walmart Supercenter uh, because I want to get more than just food and so I'll go there uh, if I don't need to get those other things then I'll just save the, the 10 minutes and go to the neighborhood market This is an interesting drive from Lake Sumter to the Walmart. This, this is some of the most mature areas, uh, excluding the original Orange Blossom area. Mm -hmm. This is some of the oldest area, the most mature. We, here we are here with Buena Vista next to us, continuing up. Correct. We're going to be traveling along Buena Vista again. And it's not a far spread between Buena Vista and Morse at this particular juncture. But this is the direction we need to go for today's adventure. There's, there's many different ways to get to any particular destination. There's, oh my, I, I don't even know how many miles and miles and miles and miles of golf cart paths all through the villages. Uh, on the west side, on the east side, right straight up through the middle. Uh, there are direct paths, there are scenic drives. This one's pretty scenic. Here we are next to the Arnold Palmer golf cart. Ugh. Arnold Palmer golf course. And that backs up to Lake Sumter. Uh-huh. So I look out on my walks and I can see this on the other side. Arnold Palmer Country Club had some Pretty, had some decent food, mm -hmm. but it was pretty pricey. Mm -hmm. Somebody left their hat behind. This is a beautiful golf course over here, though. But it's about 91 degrees out there right now. I can't imagine us doing golf when it's 91 degrees. I don't think we've gotten that acclimated yet. Well, being as fair skinned as I am, I gotta cover everything. I'd rather. I'm going to cover everything, have it not be quite so warm when I'm out there. We're heading 
young and driving. Say, say it again? They had a young and driving. Oh boy. Well, that would explain that. I'm glad they were driving slow. I know uh, I've gotten comments about these videos before, how it feels like we're driving really fast, but uh, the reason it, it feels like we're driving fast when really we're driving 20 miles an hour, number one is because the GoPro is on wide angle. And it just makes it feel a lot more squirrely than it is. I mean, we're just, we're, we're going eight miles an hour right now. That's another nice, wide, tall tunnel. And it's here in the section that was built uh -huh. in the middle. Well, we're gonna be going at some point in time to those very northern tunnels. And they are not very tall. <laughs> they feel like we have to duck. Not only do we feel like we have to duck, it feels like we're gonna scrape the roof of the golf cart. We're not, and we haven't, but it feels like it. Look how beautiful this area looks though. We're yeah, in the, this. the village of Bonnie Brook. And then Winifred's across the street. It's just a nice, pretty area. So we just passed Arnold Palmer, and now we're gonna be coming up on Glenview soon. It's a really nice area. So this is not the normal route that I would take to go to the Walmart Supercenter. And because of that, we've got the GPS on and Karen's Siri is some Australian guy. <laughs> if you happen to hear him talking, you'll know what's going on. Is there a third person in the golf cart with you guys? But I'll tell you what, even if I, we didn't have the GPS on, I guarantee I could find my way here. It's just right off Point of Vista. And we're following Point of Vista. So now, with we have the new Sprouts that opened up at 466 in Buena Vista, so we're going to be scooching around the back side of that, where before it probably would have taken us through tall trees. And when she says tall trees, it's because right now we are in the village of tall trees. Imagine that. And the next stop sign, turn left. Okay. What, what village is that across the street? Do you know? I, I think don't... that's part of Winifred, but I'm not sure if it, come, if it continues that far up or if this is the one that joins it coming down. Look at those clouds up there. So we would Laurel have Manor. gone over to Laurel Manor if we wanted that rec center or we wanted the medical facilities in that area. Laurel Manor Plaza has all that and that's the beginning of it over here. This is the back side of the new Sprouts that we're coming up on here. We're going to scooch around behind. And that's it right in front of us, isn't it? Yep. Uh, over at Laurel Manor, we come off over there. Is that where that t tree tunnel of trees is, a, is at? Is that uh huh. Right? On the other side, it, it takes you up over. Yeah, we're gonna have to. That. We're gonna have to do that. We'll have to get that on a video one day. So we're on Para Drive now, which borders 466. 
and it has the assisted living facilities and we're coming into all the banks and stores and So what do we got here? It's a restaurant. That's a Bob Evans. Is that what, oh, okay. No stop sign. Now the question is, are we where we're allowed to? Yes. It's a 25 mile an hour, so we're allowed, we're okay. correct? Yeah. What do we, we got a tire center? We got a mattress store. <laughs> Across the street is a CVS, I think. It's one of the banks. It's like bank, 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 bank row here. More banks on the other side. Gas stations. And everything people need is up here. Coming up to the back side of the charter schools. Ah. And the next stop sign will turn right. So how do we get over there? The next stop sign, turn right. Now, yeah, Siri is telling us how to get there by golf, but by bicycle. And hopefully that's the same way you go by golf cart. Hope, hopefully uh, the, the Wildwood police aren't going to come after us. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, turn right here, turn slow down. Right and so that's the village at high school right there. The, at least, there we go. Perfect. So I put uh, Apple Maps on and told it that we are a bike, a bicycle. And I'm just hoping it gives me proper directions. And so far it's working like a charm. Here we are in Wedgwood. So Wedg That's perfect. Wedgwood is the center lane that takes you through a lot of the shopping area. So we have the I think the Petco and yeah, Bells and everything I over wanna, here. I want to take you in here. Proceed to the room. I will. Turn right once onto I the ship. Once I take oh. you through here. No, that's not here. This is this is Southern Proceed Trade the shopping room. area. Okay. This is what I want to go to. I want to go to each one. Then take a run. So here we are in Southern Trace. We got a few restaurants, some stores. You got a T-Mobile. Proceed to the roof. You got an eyeglass joint. What is this? Place? Publix. Publix. Okay, we're gonna stop because everyone wants me to stop. Even though we're only going two miles an hour. Okay, here's your salon jelly. Mm -hmm. Custom apparel is a great place right here. They, you can get uh, them. Here's a Haverty's uh, furniture, but uh, custom apparel is where you can get. Uh, custom name tags you can wear. When we moved in, we got them made with uh, palm trees and it says Hammock and Fenny on it and it has our names on it. So when you're meeting new people in the neighborhood, then they can see who you are. We can see who they are. Lots of people were wearing them. What's this, What's this place here? Daryl's Diner. I understand Daryl's Diner is a really good place. We haven't eaten there yet. Uh, it's a computer repair place and a dry cleaners. And right behind us is a gas station. So if you wanted to bring your golf cart in there and get some gas, you could do it. There's an IHOP right here. We don't eat pancakes anymore. Turn right onto the shared path, then make a sharp left turn onto County Road 101.
we uh, took the golf cart and went to our church. We we went this way, didn't we? Mm -hmm. This looks very familiar. This tunnel is going to take us over to the Walmart Supercenter. Some other shopping in between. Make a U-turn and turn right onto Wedgwood Lane. What? Well, I'm going this way, right? Make a sharp left turn onto County Road 101 and turn right onto Wedgwood Lane. Apparently, Apple Maps wanted me to go a different direction, but this is definitely the most direct path. I wanted to go up there. Oh, did I? You can still do it there. Yeah, I just wanted to point out, here's street rods. If you want to get a really cool golf cart. Hmm. Proceed to the route. We are now proceeding to the route. Was there anything else back over there? Just more medical. You can go, you can do the same thing going through there. We want to show them how to get here. Turn right onto Wedgwood Lane. Okay, so was that the IHOP over there? Uh huh. Turn okay. right onto Wedgwood Lane. You know, if you're in a car, you get some really direct routes with the golf Three cart. Of the mile, turn right into the car park. Yeah, there's different apps that give you different information sometimes. You have to cross-reference. Bonefish Grill. What's that over here? Oh, Burger King. Okay, there's... Well, we just passed it. Over there is PetSmart, Bells, Home Goods, and did I say Home Goods? Mm -hmm. I did. Bells, PetSmart. I can't read. So this is Buffalo Trace. This area over here, Buffalo Trail, that leads you there. What is this market? Brand? Fresh market. Fresh market. Some people really recommend them for their seafood and meat selections. I still go to Costco for ours. Yeah, we checked it out. It's okay. Yeah, it's a long drive for us. Oh, Hobby Lobby. And then you have to turn. So that's the new Hobby Lobby coming right along. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so you can see it right there. New Hobby Lobby. Looks like they'll be opened up for, in time for Christmas. Over here is the Red Lobster. What do we got right Culver's, here? Culver's, I think. Oh, Culver's. This is uh, assisted living over here. Over there is the uh, Golden Buffet. Golden Buffet. Golden Corral. Golden Corral. That's what it's called. We don't go there. We don't go to places where you, it's all you can eat. Although I do miss it. <laughs> Another tire place. You can hear them. Maybe. We go down there. Let's go. Lots of tunnels, huh? Mm -hmm. Proceed to the roof. Okay, I know where I am. There's the other Reveille, but that's wealth management. Oh. Turn right into Wrong. I'm sure if you have enough money, they'll feed you. <laughs> uh, NYPD Pizza. 
There's a Chinese restaurant. Chang's, people talked about them, but we haven't tried that yet. Right there in front of us is the Walmart Supercenter. But let's take a drive down here, see what else we got. There's the Tropical Cafe. There's a McDonald's. Turn right into the car park, then arrive at your destination. Can't read what that is. Metro Diner. Ah, Metro Diner. We haven't been there. We can't go out that way. Okay. We'll turn around right turn here. Right onto County Road 105, then turn right into the car park. There's an Arby's. And across the street, there's more commercial centers different services and facilities. Proceed so to the room. This is this is the Walmart. Feet arrive at Walmart Supercenter. And I'm gonna to the room. In feet arrive at Walmart I'm gonna go around the back side. So the church driving range. Is there a driving range back there? Mm -hmm. The goodwill where we got a lot of our clubs. Three hundred and fifty feet arrive at Walmart Supercenter. And I, I don't know if it's a 25 mile an hour, I think it is. Proceed to the route. In 500 feet, arrive at Walmart Supercenter. Okay, I'm turning. I'm turning that guy off. He's very annoying. <laughs> so that's the one Over that takes there? you out, yeah. This one or this one? That one. So I don't know how many churches there are around around the villages that you can get to by golf cart legally. <laughs> uh, I know of at least one that people go to that's illegal to get to. But this one is legal to get to. Here's the Live Oaks Community Church. And uh, there you go. I'm the dog. Can you, you're saying I can if go, you down, go there? down there? go down there, because it's 25 miles an hour. And this takes you over to another driving range. Doesn't have all the water that Sarasota has. But it's right here. Is it in the villages? No, none of this is in the villages none on this side. None of this is in the villages. Yeah, and now this is as far as you can go. But okay. there's the Goodwill where we picked up our clubs. But you can't get there by but golf cart. But you can't get there by golf cart. You'd have to park over here and walk over. Okay. Let me find us a nice shady spot. In the lake? Yeah. Well, that's the end of shopping in the villages by golf cart number four. I'm going to put a, a playlist right over here of all the other shopping the villagers by golf cart videos in the meantime we appreciate you traveling with us today see ya